Deep Six Wrestling presents news, reviews, or rants. Hey guys, how you guys doing? Um, welcome to news, reviews, or rants. I'm your host, Jiu Jitsu Joey from Deep Six Wrestling. Um, in this week's episode, I'm going to go over and give my thoughts and opinions on WWE NXT TakeOver 25. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and follow us on Twitter, Deep Six Wrestling. The links will be in the description below. Thank you. Um, okay, so when I think I'm done with WWE's product, they always manage to reel me back in like a fish. NXT TakeOver 25 was spectacular. It had only a five-match card, but that's all it needed to be amazing. Um, so the first match, and let me say, what a way to open a takeover, was Matt Riddle versus Roderick Strong. Um, in what I thought was the best match of the night. Um, these two guys literally killed each other. It was brutal. Um, Riddle controlled the match very early, but Strong would make a huge push to even things up. Um, I gotta say that Riddle's final flash is so fucking brutal. Um, that knee strike is so believable that I almost forgot that this was pro wrestling. Um, I was actually very concerned for Roderick Strong after he took that. Um, so Riddle ends up getting the win. And honestly, this match was five minutes, five more minutes away from being perfect. Um, so now we have the ladder match for the vacant NXT Tag Team Championships. Um, so the Viking Raiders relinquished their titles on NXT because they got moved up to Monday Night Raw. Um, they didn't only just get moved up, they were given an awful name, the Viking Experience, which was now changed to the Viking Raiders. So much better, but still not better than the War, War Raiders. Um... So, each team in this match was special, very special, but the Street Profits had so much swag and ended up cap capturing the gold um, in a well-deserved victory. Um, so this was the first time actually watching the Street Profits, and wow, Montez Ford is an amazing talent and absolutely breathtaking. I want to see more of this man, and... Um, so kudos to the Street Profits. You make me proud. Um, let me see what we got. What we got. So now we got the Velveteen Dream versus Tyler Breeze, a.k.a. Prince Pretty, um, for the NXT North American Championship. This was a super fun match, and this is the best Tyler Breeze has looked in years, in my opinion. Um, it, was an er it was announced earlier on this week that Tyler Breeze would officially be joining the NXT roster, um, and good for him. Um, this just adds to an already stacked roster, uh, talent-wise, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, good for him, because nothing was going on with him. Uh, the fashion police died. Um, yeah, so he had nothing really going for him, which kind of sucked. Um, anyway, Velveteen hits the Purple Rainmaker for the win. Uh, this match was well executed, with the, obviously the right guy going over, uh, but it wasn't exactly spectacular. Um, so the two men shared a selfie after the match to show that they respect each other, which was, you know, very nice. Always like that. Um, the next match was my least favorite match, and it wasn't a bad match. I thought it was okay, had some good spots. Um, so anyways, the match was for the NXT Women's Championship, Shayna Baszler versus EO Shirai. Sorry, I didn't want to, like, fuck up her name. Um, in my opinion, I thought Baszler should have finally lost the title to EO, but it made up for it after the match. Uh, 
Io got a kendo stick and just absolutely destroyed Baszler. Um, which means that she's going to get a shot, another shot, and uh, hopefully finally capture the gold. Um, now for the main event. The main event was for the NXT Championship. Part 2 of Johnny Gargano versus Adam Cole. Baby. Um, it's nearly impossible to compare this match to their two out of three falls extravaganza two months ago. Um, but this told an incredible story and may have even su surpassed it because of the anticipation of the single fall. Um, it was absolutely perfect and challenges that one from, from 2019 halfway through the year. Um, the biggest shock, no pun intended, was Adam Cole getting the victory and becoming the new NXT champion. Um, yeah, it was crazy that he won, in my opinion. I thought they would just, you know, I thought he would be moved up, but now it looks like we're getting, hopefully we're getting a part three since they both won one now. And I have high ex expectations. X peck expectations. Forget about it. Um, for this next match. Um, so I didn't want to just talk about NXT Takeover. Um, I just also wanted to like you know give my thoughts about the twenty four seven championship. Um, I'm very glad that. WWE has finally realized that they can use social media and, you know, post about the title and make, you know, cool situations where the title changes. Like, recently, Jinder Mahal found R-Truth on the golf course and rolled him up to become champion. And then R-Truth rolled him up and took it back. But there's, like, segments like that that we need more of. Um... Because that was that's the whole idea of a 24-7 championship. Um, so yeah, guys, that's pretty much it this week. Uh, it was a short week, like I said. Um, nothing really happened besides NXT TakeOver 25, which was amazing. And so I, I honestly, I don't, usually don't rate pay-per-views and stuff. I don't really actually give a star rating, but if I had to... I would give it a 4 out of 5, definitely. Um, so anyway, thank you for watching News, Reviews, or Rants. As always, Jujutsu Joey. And just remember, folks, keep kicking it.